So what's up guys and welcome to Ivar's Flyer Shop. Today we will be tying a fly that's been on our plant tie and requested by somebody a few months back last spring if I recall. Uh, that is a fly that's called the Zebra Mitts and this is how it looks and you can also tie it with like a this flashy pearl tail and even like a tiny wing from the pearly material it's just all up to you how you prefer it but uh, the version we are going to tie is simply just uh, it's just a blank version without the tail or, or without the wing this is a really effective fly when it comes to when it's come to uh, trout fishing here in Iceland and and fishing for arctic char as well. Uh, the fly, or not the fly, the thread I'm using, that's a, that's a sample fly spider thread, that's uh, number 18, so it's like rather small, small uh, and thin thread, and the uh, wrapping of the fly is made with uh, a sample fly wire it's not an oval it's like a like a small wire made out of silver i prefer to keep it in silver and uh, we attach that down to the hook shank of the fly and then we start to build up the body of the fly with the thread the uh, hook we are using that's a uh, it's an emerger hook number 16, an Avex one. And uh, you can use like a grabber hook for it as well. It just depends on your preferences actually. You can tie this fly on a straight nymph hook, but I prefer to keep keep it on like an I like a curved nymph hook uh, from Arex or or just uh, the emerger hooks. So the body of the fly is like uh, ready. Then the wrapping of the of the body, the silver wire wrapping, is something that we place around. And as you see, it's a really simple fly to make. And then we catch our wire with the thread here. Keep it away and uh, make sure it's like really tight wraps there. And either cut or helicopter the wire off. And then we carry on to build up like a head of the fly. And for a bead, I'm using actually a tungsten bead on this one, but it depends on like the depth you're fishing in and the and the depth of the water you're fishing in as well. If it's a shallow water in general or, or like a deeper water, it all depends on the on what kind of bead you like to use. Uh, I'm I have to admit I'm kind of fond of the uh, tungsten beads but you can use this uh, use like a brass bead on it as well and you can also use like a glass bead that uh, when you go down to the smaller number 16 or 18 and even smaller down to uh, hook size number 20 that's uh, I'd say um, like a glass bead would be be the maybe the preferable size for that and as a final touch for the fly when we built up the Hat and trimmed off the uh, snip of the rest of the thread. Uh, I'm gonna coat the uh, the knot and the head of the fly with uh, Solaris Bone Cure. And if you like, you can actually coat the body with that same material. That gives it like a gives it like a texture, and uh, it should be more durable uh, when the uh, fly is fished. So we are almost finished with the fly. I just want to say thanks for for great, great reactions and uh, to the channel. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Now we are going to sap the uh, UV resin with our UV torch. 
but until next time i'll say take care guys and i will see you guys in the next video Thank you.